Bless God. I'm out here because I care about you today, dear people. That Calvinism's heresy, and I care about you to tell you. That reprobation in the Bible is conditional. That when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. There is no unconditional reprobation. God does not make anyone to send them to hell. How's it going, sir? You can be saved today, sir. A Calvinism's heresy. A yes, it is, sir. The Bible says, save yourselves from this untoward generation. The Bible says that you need to repent or else you will perish. And God will not repent for you. He desires you to repent, but he won't do it for you. Jesus says you need to walk in the light. Jesus is a shepherd. Jesus is not a slave master. He gives you the choice. Choose this day whom you will serve. Jesus says, will you also go away? Jesus was not like the Egyptians. But Jesus does rebuke if you go back to Egypt and you're his people. Jesus is commanding you repent. Bless God, it's written in the Gospel of John that God does not hear sinners. And everlast Calvinists that I've come across, the famous ones, they don't even give a proper lip service. If you don't repent, God ain't going to hear your prayer. And if God is working everything in you, why doesn't he first have you stop sinning? God's far from the wicked. But he hears the prayer of the righteous. And you're in wicked deeds of sin. Why doesn't God at least first get you to stop sinning? So you got to be clean and honest about this today. Come to God. You need clean hands and a pure heart. And don't lift up your soul on the vanity any longer. Come to the God of the Bible. To the pure, all things are pure. Those that disobey God in any way are not saved. The Holy Spirit is given to those that obey God. It's free will. You need to use free will, sir. Calvinism is sin. Limited atonement is heresy. Jesus died for every sinner. A Calvinism's in hell. Calvin, all those that embrace Calvinism are in hell. That died. It's a lie, sir. I care about you. All liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. If you say you know him and don't keep his commandments, you're a liar. How could God elect someone that doesn't keep his commandments? God would be a liar. I endure all things for the elect's sake that they may also obtain salvation. Praise the Lord, Jesus teaches you can lose salvation.
Jesus teaches you can lose your salvation. He says you can be cut off. How's it going, sir? Great, how about yourself? Good, good, good. Why good. Did you say that? Um, well, because of what Tulip teaches. Because Tulip teaches, Are you yeah. familiar with Calvinism? Yeah. Synod of Dort. Okay, so all the five points of Calvinism are indeed heresy, and they're not true. And that's why we're out here, because we just want to warn you about what we think is coming, because of the lies that you believe, sir. And we do care about you. Uh, Thank you but you, we do believe you have free will, and we do believe that election is conditional. Really? Conditional on what? Uh, it's conditional on the fact that you do need to repent and believe before you're elected. Sure. And if you go back to sin, you will not be chosen. So, so if, uh, so if, so you're saying essentially that you save yourself from your own understanding? Uh, what well, I say, you need to repent and believe. So I don't know how I would be saving myself if I believe on the Messiah. You don't. You don't, you don't believe that God actually regenerates the heart. Giving you the gift of faith that it says in Ephesians 2 verse 8. So you believe that you're regenerated before you have faith. And that would be consistent I, I, Calvinism. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I've been a Calvinist for about 20 years. Okay. So, yeah. That's, so actually the, that's actually the, as far as I'm aware from the studies that I've, I've okay. made, it's, I see it all through the Bible. Okay. I, I, it's also a historic truth that's been confessed by the church. Okay, so in Titus 3 where it talks about regeneration and the washing and renewing of the Holy Ghost, right. um, you say that happens before faith, but the Bible teaches that faith purifies the heart, and how can you be regenerated before Bible, you have faith? The Bible says that your faith is a gift from God. Okay, faith, okay. Faith, for example, like uh, the devils believe and they tremble. Right. Okay, like so head, head knowledge alone doesn't make it. And the fact that we can have faith today in someone to be forgiven is a gift from God because we cannot die for ourselves. Uh, the Bible says you can't do a good deed to cover your sin. The Mosaic Law doesn't cover your sin. So that is a gift. Uh, salvation is a gift. Faith is a choice. Uh, Jesus said have faith in God. Uh, he didn't say... What did Jesus say what, about the disciples? Did he say that they chose him or that he chose them? Uh, Jesus chooses apostles. But you're not an apostle. So, but you do say you're chosen. So the context is about apostleship in John. For, for by grace you have been saved through okay. faith. And yes. This, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Your okay. Faith is a gift of God. Okay. Not a result of works. No, no, no one can boast. For we are His new work. Okay. Read it. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so, and this is what I was trying to say before, is that you're saying that you're regenerated before you have faith, and we're saying that you have to have faith before you get the Holy Spirit. There are many, and, and we're Calvinists. Yeah, well, so, I, I mean, that's what Arminian faith, that's, that's exactly what Arminianism is. We reject Arminianism because of their idea of being born a sinner. Uh, we don't believe that, and no, we don't not. believe that grace so is... Believe, so you believe, hang on a second, so yeah. that's, that's interesting. Yes, so you believe that people are born righteous, and Sinners? Uh, that's what God has said, yes. Where did God say that? Uh, Ecclesiastes 7.29. Yes, sir. Hi. May I say a few things while you're looking? Sure, man was created upright. Huh? Yeah. What? It says that God has made man upright. That's the verse, and we're, we're going to let you go to it. But the, the idea that grace... Grace is not reliant, first and foremost, on the cross, because Jesus Christ is the Creator. So Jesus, in the Gospel of John says, He's the true light which lights every man that comes into the world. That's why when you do something wrong, your conscience tells you it's wrong, whether you're saved or not. Because that's why the Pharisees walked away at one point in John 8, because they were convicted of their own conscience. So grace is in everything in that respect, teaching what is correct. Now, in salvation, it's the fact that Jesus gave his blood for your sins to forgive you, but that doesn't change your will. Because yeah, most people all, reject this is, him. This is John, this is from the Gospel of John. John yeah. 1, uh, verse 12. Okay. Uh, yet to all who did receive him, 
Okay. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, okay. he gave the right to become children of God. Okay. A lot of people stop there, but then it says, children born not of natural descent, nor of a human decision, nor a husband's will, God. Okay. So yeah, well, we're born decision, of God. Yeah. Your decision, if you were, if you were actually, let me just leave you with this, because i got to get into worship. But if you actually decided to, uh, to if it wasn't the, uh, if it wasn't by the grace of the Holy Spirit that regenerated your heart and took your heart, was, that was already um, dysfunctional. It, your heart was already because you know the, the scripture also says that all of sin falls short of the Yeah, it's, it's a choice though. Yeah. Well, it, it it doesn't say that it's a choice. It says we're all born in the sin. You know, King David in the Psalms says that, that he was conceived in sin in his mother's womb. Yeah, his and mother, he, yeah. Right, yeah. His mother was a sinner. So well, because it does say also by David, I was fearfully and wonderfully made. And you can't, right, yes. you can't put the fear that God makes with the one in the same. It's contrary. Well, it's contrary yeah. parts. Well, no, 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 no. Say you do. You have a conscience. How can you be made with fear and wonder if it's also a sin? God's the creator. I, I believe and I remember my first consciousness, conscience, consciousness of sin when I was a very young child. with what God created me to be before actually making an act, well, that's doing it. an act, right? So I know that I was born with a sinful heart. I know that absolutely. Well, sure. but that wouldn't make sense so, because then you would feel normal doing what was wrong, but you testified against it. No, no, I don't feel normal doing what's wrong now. I did feel normal doing what was wrong for many years until the Lord regenerated. Are you, so you mean, tell me, before you regenerated, you never felt conviction over doing something wrong? Um... That's think, that's entirely think, false, think, sir. It's no, not no, biblical yes, either. Yeah, if you right, were to say that, right. okay. I did. I did. I, I was convicted, but I didn't believe what God said. I didn't believe His words. I was convicted of the of the truth. I've always been convicted of the truth, but I've not been convicted of the of, of the fact that God is indeed who He says He is. Why well, you you're rejecting so, the gospel, or rejecting the fact that God created you in His image? So that's oh, what yeah, we right, teach. Right, that's yeah. what we teach. That. People reject the gospel message, but Jesus is before the gospel. Jesus died for sinners. Before there were sinners, he is still he. And he is God Almighty. And it says in John 1, because what you read actually says that you believe, and then you're given this. No, that's that and that's what it says. It, it, said, it said not by human decision. No, it, it said, said not by human decision. So it well, said, it's not. It said, that's what it, the, exactly. the gospel is not of man, it's of God. No, no, the actual belief. No, receiving no. him, it says it's not of man. It says those that believe on him. No, it's, no, what it says is that it's not by human decision. Okay, well, I'll give you another thing Jesus said then, and that he actually said, because he actually said that if you believe, you're not condemned. But this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. So most Calvinists believe that while they're even regenerated, and in the faith they say they're still evil, they still do wicked things. But Jesus says those are condemned people, they cannot believe because so of their you think sins. So you that you're no longer a sinner? Oh, absolutely not, we're saints. Paul wrote to the saints. So you don't do any sins? You uh, we any could. Thoughts, we you could. Don't any, you, know, uh, you don't need to repent anymore? Well, as of right now, no, because I'm not sinning today. You have to sin for choices, don't you believe this? In regeneration, well, no, I, even I, I at believe, the very least? I believe that even my thoughts, I, I, believe that, you know, I believe that even my thoughts are, I mean, Paul says as much. Well, yeah, your he, thoughts are bad, too. yeah, because you have evil surmisings, but the uh, scriptures say the even desire Paul of the righteous says, is only Paul good. Paul says himself that he was like that. Uh, actually, was like Paul, taught his testimony, said he was serving two masters. He said with his mind, the law of God, with the flesh, the law of sin. And then that was two masters. Jesus says he can't do that. As a Christian, Paul teaches as doctrine, not testimonial, that your whole mind and body and soul be sanctified holy, and that you serve God with your spirit and your body, which are God's. And that's what he said. And the body is a holy sacrifice to God. That's in Romans 12. A testimony is a testimony. A doctrine is a doctrine. And this is where you err, sir, because you're just looking for sin. You're only proving sin. But in regeneration, in Titus 3, Paul says we were these things. Not that we are, we were. And Peter taught faith purifies the heart. You have to have faith before the Holy Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit is given to those that are obey. 
so it's like, like, well, so you're saying that you earn your salvation. You're no, saying that the Holy, that's exactly what you're saying. No, because it you're says saying that, that the Holy Spirit is given to those that obey God who, who choose to obey God. It's a choice. Those who yeah. choose to obey God. Why would God give commandments if you can't choose to do them? Jesus repent. That's I actually Arianism. Marriage. That's I believe that's an Arian. Yeah, Arians. Arians, Arians yes, believe in Unitarianism. Would, Jesus, we don't what's that? that? Uh, Arian. Yeah, it's, I it's are area. you talking about like a KKK belief, or no, you, no, what are you no. talking about? Like, are you talking about like uh, that Jesus was a created being? Which I one are you? Using? Like Arminianism? No, I don't. I think he's talking about uh, the Council of Nicaea approved against Arianism. Hang on a second. I might have it wrong. But let me take a look. Um, but Jesus says. Unless you repent, you will likewise perish. Also, why would Jesus say, if you will enter into life, keep the commandments then? We don't believe keeping the commandments can forgive you of when you didn't keep the commandments, but at the same extent, if you've been forgiven, the proof is that you're not keeping the commandments. That's what he did say to someone that asked him personally. Pelagianism, yeah. yes, that's what I was talking about. So, so, so Arian was, I was confusing Ar Aria, Arian said Jesus was a created being. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. and that, we so, don't say that. Yeah, so Pelagianism is a heterodox Christian theological tradition that holds the original sin did not take human nature. So we're saying, that's correct. And that humans have the free will to achieve human perfection without the grace. That's, well, the idea that we're saying grace is not part of this is not true. Because I, I said that the light is everywhere, Jesus is everywhere, but he's not in a sinner. What so the idea is, is when you sin, something tells you it's wrong. So like, it's not working for your salvation to obey God, because this is what God has said to do for salvation. Well, That's Pelagius, what he has said. But Pelagius said that was condemned as a heresy in 200 or so AD, had to, or 250 or something like that. What he said was that God gave the commandments and that we could choose to obey the commandments. Which essentially is a works That's That's essentially no. common sense. If God gives commandments, you have to do them, sir. I well, mean, I that, that's... I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you have to do them, but, it, but, it, but it, it's common sense. If, if there, What's inconsistent that you're saying is that you can do the commandments and that you need Jesus. Well, you need Jesus to be forgiven of when you haven't. That's why he died for sin. Okay. But like the but idea, say, but you say that you can actually well, keep the sin. Well, absolutely. I mean, just look at even under your belief, Adam and Eve. I mean, God told them something they could do, and it wasn't until they. And he told them that when they, when they, he said that in the day that you eat of it, you will die. And they spiritually and they died. They spiritually but not died for me. What's that? Not, they didn't spiritually die for me. I spiritually right, died right, for myself. Right. Spiritually yeah, by choosing sin, like it says in Ecclesiastes seven twenty nine, which I don't know if you read or not, but you didn't seem to want to make a comment about it. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't actually. Okay, look it up. and I you, you yeah, I would really meditate on that because it says that men seek after inventions, but God has made men upright. That seems to make sense. Why would God make them sin? It doesn't make any sense. People know what he does. Jesus is the offspring of David. How could he even be from David if everyone had sin? Mary included the Catholics, and they're working on that, but that's not. Mary and myself and you, like you said, I, things tell me things are wrong, but you denied the gospel. Hey, same here. I knew I was wrong for years, but I wasn't saved. It's the gospel that gave me forgiveness, and that's what does cleanse our hearts, that we can be reconciled to God, the blood. But the fact that the Pharisees went one by one because they're convicted of their own conscience is the truth of just the way God made you. And Adam and Eve, the whole story of Adam and Eve doesn't make any sense. That God would give commandments, but hey, you can't really do them. Not no, God, God gave them commandments, but before they actually sinned and became spiritually dead, they were able to do them. I know. And they chose not to. Uh, that's I where agree. The choice, that's that, where the choice died. That's the same the choice, thing. The choice died in their spiritual death, and that spiritual death is passed on to right. their progeny. All right, so here's, so my, here's my thought. Even I don't agree with you, but even... I don't even agree if, with you. Uh, it's fine, but even if Adam would have listened and Satan would have instigated them, and Adam would have said, I'm obeying God, 
Is that somehow proud? Is that workspace? If Adam would have listened, and Satan would have irritated him for listening to God. And Adam would have responded and said, I'm listening to God today. I don't want to die. I want to remain a friend of God. Is that a workspace friendship? No, he's listening to God. So that's our message that God initially gave. You don't think free will exists after Adam and Eve. No, I think free will exists. I didn't say that. What I what I think is that your will is actually depraved. That your that's will not free is will, that your will. That's not no, it is. Will. It is free will. No, you don't, you, you only have will to do bad. That's not free. No, you don't have you don't you don't have only will to do bad. That your your will is actually biased. I don't like using the term free will because 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 free will actually the way that you're describing it essentially departs from the sovereignty of God over everything. What you're saying essentially is that you can make choices yeah. that God doesn't doesn't actually have any control well, over. Well, absolutely. Is your will free from God? My altogether? will is free from, well, not in the sense that he's allowing me to breathe. Like, because when you're in hell, you actually, there's options you don't have anymore. Like, for example, you cannot be saved in hell. You can't praise God in hell. Uh, there's certain sins you cannot do in hell. You can blaspheme God in hell, but like there's certain sins you cannot do. Now, I'm on earth though. And while I'm on breathing, the Bible says I can repent if I sin. And Jesus commanded men to repent and believe. I'm sorry it doesn't make sense if you can't really do that. It's a hidden message. Yeah. And it's just a secret will is not. He of commanded God. people to repent and believe. But then he enables them by regenerating their hearts. But that's to cause them to desire. I don't know, but even your own even your own belief within regeneration is not consistent with how you're living today because you still say you're a sinner, but Titus says not of that in Titus three. He says we were these things. We were disobedient. Okay? And then the kindness of God to men appeared, if I'm not mistaken. But you're not even renewed in your mind because you still think you're a sinner in your mind. Uh, actually, I still know I'm a sinner. Well, mind, then that's not I'm regeneration, saved, even. But I, yeah, sure it is. Even if I believe I the force desire, regeneration. I have a desire. I have a desire to obey God, but I have not the means to carry it out other than the Holy Spirit's presence but in my life. But God has even so, given you the means to be right with God in your actions, and that's not of God. But, it cannot be of God. Now, like, we were talking about this before. The hyper-Calvinists at least have a better conclusion that God's at least forcing them not to sin. Because the Bible says if you're born of God, you do not commit sin. I could sin, but right now I don't. Like, I don't have thoughts of lust and thoughts of hate toward you, but I do have thoughts against your beliefs, and that's righteous. Because Jesus looked upon them with anger. How could he do that if he doesn't allow them to do what is correct? Because they're rightly condemned by their fathers. That's not a rightful condemning. Even the Bible says you cannot be put to death for your father. And we come from Adam saying most people are going to go to hell for eternity and God never gave them a hope. That's It's heresy, sir. I think God did give them a hope. God, gave them, God gave them a hope by announcing the, the truth of the gospel. But they can't but receive it. Not to. Jesus says ask and it shall be given you. He didn't say it's given you, then ask. It's ridiculous. Most people are going to burn in hell for eternity and your God made them that way. And he didn't die for them. That's the sin of door. That's, Come on, sir, that's, that's, that's wrong, that's, don't you no, think? It's not. How can you no, believe it's in something like that? How it's a different you, gospel. How can you believe that you've saved yourself? I didn't save myself. By your choice. He commanded me. He commanded me to do it. He commanded me to do it. If I don't do it, he's going to send me to hell. That's fair. That's fair. Sure, yeah, sure. But he commanded Agreed. me to do it. But your command is not a real command because a command means you can do it or you can refuse to do it. Well, i got to get in. Sir, worship, so. sir. No. <laughs> hey, give it up. Give 20 it up. years is what you said. Just give it yeah. up. Give what up? This it's idea, big... you don't believe in free will. The Bible I, I teaches of free will. No, you don't. I believe that you say you don't will... like the word free will. I, no, Sorry. I believe that the free will of man is to actually follow after his fleshly desires. And that the Lord regenerates the heart. And when the Lord regenerates the heart, the man then has a desire to obey the commandments and to, and to actually belong to God. And that regeneration is what actually saves people. It's God's work that does it. And Jesus' work on the cross is actually what gives the sins that they have committed, those whose hearts have committed. Well, we it's agree not, that Jesus 
died to forgive sin. And that's why the only reason why we can't be forgiven is Jesus died for us. But the fact that God commands all men everywhere to repent is a command. Sure. Yeah. Because the cross loses a lot of the majesty if God is just going to force you to believe it. It actually makes more glory to God that you choose to believe it. Because they, they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. That's what Jesus taught. Well, and like gets, Abraham, too, he gave glory to God. And, and then there's Lord. also an argument that says that it, it's actually to God's glory that the only ones that actually give him that glory are the ones that he has regenerated the hearts of. He's proved right. He's proved right throughout the entirety of, of history by those who actually don't choose him. But that it's not something you ever come across in life that people are going to be forced to do something you actually receive glory for that or honor for that. It's just not, like you can't force a woman to love you. God, if he's got to force people to worship him, that's not even worship. That's just like, it's puppeting. I don't see why even God would want that. Like, that God doesn't make any sense to me when I read the Bible. Yeah. Because he tells I, people I to worship. Your, I don't understand your perspective at all because I believe your perspective actually degrades the sovereignty of God. How, but so, how does God get glory to force you to glorify Him? I don't understand that part. He gets, he gets glory because he, he proves to all of the witness of the rest of, rest of the creation, including the angels, that the only people that choose Him are the people that He actually enables okay. to. So the, so the angels as well give glory to God upon a force, and then the bad angels were forced to sin is probably what you would say then. Because no, they had to sin by what? Choice? Or what do you think? I, don't, I believe that they they originally had a choice, just like Adam and Eve. Okay. Adam and Eve had a choice. Okay. So could Adam and Eve give glory to God? Probably, you would say they could have. I think they could. They, it, it depends on whether, for example, um, in the case of uh, Cain, I don't believe that Cain was repentant. I believe that Abel was. I believe that both of them were born in sin. Okay. Right. And and that that Abel actually was repentant and Cain was not. Uh, Cain, 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 was, Cain was definitely told to not sin. And, right, yeah, yeah. and God yes, said yes, you have the all, power not to sin. We're all told You have sin. the power not to sin too, right. is what God said to Cain, which is not at all yeah. agreeable with Calvinism and total depravity. However, the elect angels have never sinned. And they, and they always right. obey God, and God gets glory for not sinning. That we know for sure. Now you're saying God gives glory for your life, that he's forcing this in, the, in a soft way, hard way, whatever, and you still sin. Now that's a contrary glory, that he's getting something different from angels than you. So he's not even consistent about how he's getting glory. Whereas if you would repent today and stop sinning like God tells you to and have faith, you do receive the Holy Spirit as confirmation that you are sealed to God. And that, that's how we know we cry out the Father. But you would know in your heart because your heart's pure. That's the proof we have in the Bible that God purifies the heart. But your heart's not pure. You even attested to that. My heart's definitely much different. It can be, anyone can be different by sinning less. You probably no, sinned no, less than no. you did 20 years ago, but you're still sinning. And Jesus died for these sins, so why won't you give them up? I don't, so when, you, when you're talking about sinning, I just literally, I do not believe that you are not in any way sinning. I don't believe well, that. Well, no, you don't believe don't, that, but the scripture... No, no I don't believe I, the that scripture, you are. Well, the scripture says that you are a sinner, if just you, like me. If you had an the issue with the choice you, the, I make the, 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 today, like if I curse, like if I cussed at someone, excuse me, then that's understandable, because that is sin. But if I'm just standing here testifying what the Bible says, you really have to answer the Bible. Well, I think that's what the Bible says. The Bible says that we are all sinners. The Bible says that we have all of us. The Bible says that there's, there's no one clean, no not one. That's what the Bible says. The Bible tells me that about you, as well as it tells me that about me. Okay. So how so how do you have that at the same time as like so? How, repentance. How, well, no. What I'm you saying, have it by repentance what I'm because saying. you need to continually repent of the fact that you are not glorified in your new body or in your or or in your you know in the presence of God. We are sinners until we die, and then the sin stops. So how do you? Be, you're a, ho a holy nation, a procure people, you know. So how, how do you become a holy nation and a sinner at the same time? Through Jesus. Okay. It's, we're, we're, actually, we're actually in Christ, and it's being in Christ that our sins, the ones that we have done and any of the ones that we will do, 
so long as we continue in repentance, so long as we continue to believe that Jesus is the Christ and have faith, put our faith in Him, the faith for our, the faith for our salvation in Him, then, then He is actually what God sees when He looks on us. That's not what He said, though. That's, that, Jesus that says, well, I don't find your works perfect before God. Mm -hmm. And He was saying they're not worthy and they're going to be blotted out of the book of life. So people like to say, well, God sees he Jesus. Said, rejoice for Rejoice for your name is written in the book of God. Well, we right. also agree with that scripture, but you do not agree with what it says in Revelation 3, 1 through 6, Which is where Jesus says, I don't find your works perfect before God. So if God sees Jesus, and Jesus says this of God, the Father and Jesus aren't even agreeing in your doctrine, if you at least hold to what it says in this chapter of the Bible. Okay? And that's something that Calvinists don't believe in because they don't believe you can be blotted out of the book of life and end up in the lake of fire. And where it says that there is none righteous, no, not one, this is referring to anyone in a sinful state, whether Jew or Greek. The Bible says the righteous are scarcely saved. And you're talking about after death in the presence of God or a glorified body or one of these. Well, how about being righteous on earth like the Bible says? There's countless verses that there's righteous men. If you receive I a righteous have, man in the so name of a righteous is, man. So let's read his high priest and then I gotta go. To well, no, sir, you I can't ignore our to... verses. We agree with your verses. We've well, given you an answer in Titus 3, uh, Ephesians 2, by grace are you saved through faith. Grace teaches you not to sin. It's in Titus 2. Yeah. And faith purifies the heart, but you're saying that regeneration is but before the, the faith. But Ephesians 2 that you just quoted says that God gave you that grace to believe. It says that. It uh, says that your belief, your faith is a gift of the God. The grace of Jesus that faith, he tasted. It says, it says your faith is a gift of God. That's what it says. Saving faith. It says your faith is a gift of God. Saving faith. Because okay. the angels are faithful. It says, and they they're, they're don't need salvation. It they're says, already I manifest in your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they, they know, now they know that everything that you have given me is from I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them and have come to know the truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them, and I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you, Holy Father. Keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them, and not one of them has been lost, except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake, I consecrate myself that they also be sanctified in truth. I do not ask for these only, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be known, just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you. They also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given desire that they also, whom you have given me, may be with me, I am, to see my glory which you have given me, because you loved me before the creation of the world. O righteous Father, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be with them and them. So the Father gives those who actually believe to all right, so John, John chapter 17, verse 6, it says right here, I, I don't, what do you think about this? It says, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Okay, so the reason why they have the Father and the Son, John chapter 14, is because they're keeping the words of God. They're obeying. Which is, which actually includes repentance. Keeping the word of 
God, I need repentance. So you have to sense how repentance comes though right. in your doctrine, because you say you repent every day, basically. Yeah, and continue. You're, okay, you're, okay. You're, I, I believe that your life is a life of continual repentance so around the earth. As you're and, and you also taught for forgiveness of future sins, irregardless of your state. And this is not consistent, because John says, if you confess, even if I take your idea, which I don't agree with, uh, what if you die without confessing? You say you remain safe. I no. think, well, no, I think, so it's it's actually quite clear that if you confess that you're a sin, you're, you're a sinner, that's what John's referring to. If by confessing that you're a sinner, I say I'm a sinner. I, I, no, I don't that's, that's not what John it. said. I don't he says, if that's what he said. I have to get going. Uh, sir, sir. Take so, care. John said, he, they wrote on to you that you don't sin. Teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily.